Dalton taking it in from four yards out. And the Bengals take advantage of the turnover to put up six. So a quarterback scramble, certainly a pass play, but he saw something, tucked it, and got in the end zone. A lot of quarterbacks, when they scramble, they're scrambling to create more time to throw the ball downfield. In this situation, as you noted, he tucked it and took off. Great play by him. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five yards with a new rule as he's taken down right at the 20-yard line. Illegal block in the back. Return team. Out comes the Steeler offense now, ready to see what they can do here. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Good work. I like it, man, because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long, they've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah, yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> A fake to Bell. Now it's Roethlisberger. Over the middle here to Brown. He's at the 50, 30, the 20, 10, 5. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. A big play there on the catch and run. 88 yards. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. This presentation of the NFL on EA Sports is brought to you by Snickers. You're off your game when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. Back now in Pittsburgh. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here. Play fake here. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Ray Malaluga in there to get him for his second sack of the night. Well, that was point counterpoint, wasn't it? They decide to throw for it on first and goal. Instead, the defense counters with pressure, and the defense wins, getting a big sack. Second and goal. Defense digging in again here. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. So stuff for no gain on second down brings up a pretty interesting third from this distance. I'm throwing the ball, and I'm not... Rush coming, and he's taken down. The Bengals' new signee from their rivals, Cleveland, Carlos Dansby, in there to get him the sixth time. They've sacked him tonight. They've been moving the ball well offensively, really getting into a groove. Last play, pass completion. Now, finally, the defense gets there. And you have to find a way to disrupt their rhythm. Do you do it with coverage, or do you do it with pressure? They elected to go with pressure, and it was the right call. The Steelers try it, but they come up empty on fourth down. And the Bengals will get the football back. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good, so they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offense coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about that. And that's caught inside the 35. A big play. Dalton to his favorite target, Green. 52 yards. Fresh set of downs here. Well, go ahead and throw the ball, man. You got the big lead. You got the clock on your side. Obviously, they don't care much about the feelings of the other team, do they? Well, I was going to say, you better run. Got a man. It's LaFell for the Bengal touchdown. Brandon LaFell with a career-high four-touchdown game. And the Bengals just continue to pour it on. And, my friend, I think it's safe to say that this game is pretty much deceased at this point. It's taken a knee, so to speak. It is definitely this victory formation. Take the snap, take the knee, call it a night, you know, call it a game, call it whatever. I agree with you totally. I don't think there's much left to get except for those who want to run up the score. I 
I knew this was over about a minute ago when you took your stat sheet and just flipped it over your shoulder in the trash can. Yeah, that's that's, my, yeah, that's similar to the guys cutting tape off yeah, right before yeah. the game's over. We know this thing's done. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And Le'Veon Bell making his way back out onto the field now. And we have seen a decline in the numbers. Where does the fault lie? Just him, maybe the guys up front combination? Well, as you and I both know, it's almost always a collective deal. But in this case, I think maybe the offensive line got a little overconfident. They had blocked so well in the first half, picked up on what the defense was doing. I think we've seen an adjustment now that they have not picked up on, and now they're being a little bit overwhelmed. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there, and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. Play action. Now Roethlisberger. Wide open receiver complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A good grab there by the former Central Michigan man, Antonio Brown. And he ate up some real estate on the catch, too, didn't he? I think the most impressive part of it, though, if there's a chance for him to get the football, even though he was covered well, he somehow finds a way to get it. Well, he'll get 16 yards there, and it's good enough for a Pittsburgh first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. 13 yards there on the pickup, and that'll be good for a Pittsburgh first. And that's one of his advantages of a passer, is it not? With his height, setting back there in the pocket, firing it over the middle, he can really see everything clearly. It is, and I know that other... And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Ray Malaluga in there to get him again. The third time he sacked him here tonight. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. Time for a break. Back to finish it off on EA Sports after this. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. They'll fake the give to Williams. Now it's Roethlisberger. And Big Ben intercepted a third time. Picked off by the Alabama man, Drake Kirkpatrick. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season, because oh, here we are in December, right? It is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake after the game, he may have to announce that he's donating. A wide open, complete. And he takes it down deep into Pittsburgh territory. A big play there for the Bengals. And even 60 yards. And they just had another big completion there. And I think in days gone by in the NFL, you might have asked, is this a little bit of overkill? Is this rubbing it in? I don't think people feel the same way nowadays. It's the age-old argument. Then you could say on the other side, if you're going to get angry about it, stop it, right? Go ahead and stop me. And I think a lot of the time they just look at it like, let's just play the game. And however it turns out, it turns out. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? and who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense. You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. Well, it's real easy to ascertain that in the game plan, Andy Dalton, and A.J. Green. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. And that rushing touchdown, is fourth, puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get to that record and even beyond it. But he doesn't need to in order to impress in this one, does he? What a, what a performance. What an absolute great game that he's had here in this one. And this one incomplete. So they went for the two. They don't get it. Partner, that type of a lead, and they're going to fake it from the 15 to try and pick up a two-point play instead of kicking it through the post. 
come on, man. Put that in mothballs. Come on. What? Come on. Don't do that. Put that in mothballs. Yeah, <laughs> preserve that for it. That's, a, that's uh, an ancient just... relic, faking it. You, you, I couldn't understand. You, you want to rub it in a little. You fake it when you snapped it from the three. But from the 15, mothball that bad boy, just like my grandmother had. Yeah, in my, her attic, the stuff she used to preserve. My grandmother did the same. It smelled terrible. <laughs> And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. <laughs> don't forget today. Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal and never forget it because you're not going to want that feeling no here. you don't want that feeling again and who knows you may meet up with this team again and incomplete there a nice hit jars the ball free and brings up third down and he's certainly not a guy that drops that football very often indeed because that's a bit of a surprise i know he's in the middle of some traffic and people bodies all around him but he usually has the focus to haul that one in and they'll get 10 there but it leaves him just short for fourth down and passing yardage wise now up over 350 in this game pretty nice performance definitely that which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover if you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you you've had a long day the key to everything if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over and they're going to come up empty here on fourth down so they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. Oh, passing it. Dalton going for the deep ball. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I think they pretty much locked this one away. Yeah, that's the clincher, the proverbial icing on the cake, if you will. So they're going to go for two. Zebra, zebra. They'll run it here with Bernard. And he will not make it to the goal line as his try for two is going to come up empty. But that's a little consolation to this defense as they have been porous all game long. And after the touchdown, here's Mike Nugent now to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. And the Steelers set to take the field. What do you do here down like this in this situation? Do you maybe just pick something out of the playbook you haven't called in a while or you call it a day? You can do that or you pick something that's a staple for you and should work better and try and execute that on the way out the door and maybe get back to base and feel a little bit better as you end, a, as you end a ball game. It's been a frustrating one for you. Yeah, we'll see if they go back to base. They'll put two receivers left, two to the right. Again on second and 10, it's Roethlisberger. And that's gonna be incomplete. 12 seconds left. Marcus Wheaton was the one he was looking for. And that'll make it third down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. He finds Coates complete. And they finally get him, but not before he reaches the 33-yard line. And now the Bengal defense here calling a timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. And barring something unforeseen, this will be the last play of the game. One receiver left, three to the right. One last shot for Roethlisberger. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory, and the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week, we'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points, allows them to play with a totally different style and a different...